your heart, I commit my spirit. Psalm that one, verses one to twenty-four. To the fire master, a son of David. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me not, let me be put to shame. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. In your claim, my ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. And for your name's sake, you leave me and guide me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You've redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. I hate those who pay with get to worthless idols. But I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your steadfast love. Because you have seen my affliction, you've known the distress of my soul. And you've not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You've set my feet in a broad place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my burns waste away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors, and an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have been forgotten like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel, for I hear the whispering of many terror on every side. As they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life, but I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of enemies and from my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go silently to Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, which is weak. It is Irresolently against the righteous in pride and conduct. Oh, how abundant is your goodness which you've stored up for those who fear you and what for those who take refuge in you in the sight of the children of mankind. In the cover of your presence, you are hiding from the plot of men. You saw them in your shelter from the strife of time. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously, wondrously shown his steadfast love to me. When I was in a besieged city, I have said in my arm, I am cut off from your sight. But you have heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Let the Lord hold you his sins. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart. Take courage for you who wait for the Lord. Una ni jua viema wana. Una ni jua viema wana. Una ni jua viema wana. Ni kome zako. Oh, 
kuumizwa ni kwa ajili yetu kuhakikwa msalabani kwa ajili yetu amekuja basi kwa sababu bwana wakati ule tungeteka yaliyo mema tungefanya makuu kwa matendo yetu na basi tuokolewe so salvation is by grace and faith in that grace and i say the faith is a verb and believe is the noun to the uh, is the noun to the faith to the to the to the verb so you, you your faith causes you to believe yani kitenzi kuna imani na ukifanyisha kazi hiyo imani sasa unaitwa muamini kuna kuwa na imani na kufanyisha kazi ile imani and when i press it in english it will be better when i say when you are you, you have faith the faith you exercise your faith by believing uko na imani na kufanyisha kazi ile imani iko kule tunakuita kuamini wewe imani unaanza kuwa nayo na uwe auamini yule ambaye uko na imani kwake kwa mfano mtu wa giza anakuwa na imani kwa ile kitu anaona jua kwa nacho ndicho kinampea ubabe kama ni mchawi ana hata hataona ni kule kuruka kwa ungo atawaza ni ile madawa anatumia na ile mashatani anatumia nasi imani yetu ni Yesu damu yake ambayo inatuongea inaongea mema kwetu usiku na mchana kama vile wa Hebrewia 12 mstari wa 24 anasema tena Roho mtakatifu ambaye sasa anaishi, anamiliki, anakaa ndani yetu. My brothers and sisters. Men a people ni kama maji moto. Ambao ndani yale maji moto yametiwa yametiwa sukari na wakaweka kijiko pale na hawacha koroga. Kwa hivyo sasa wakati mtu anakunywa ile maji, anakunywa maji clean ikiwa moto ama wamu and then sasa wakati anaenda kumalizia ile maji chini kutabaki ile zile sukari maana hakuikoroga ikachukuliwa na ule 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 umoto ule ujoto wa yale maji kwao ile ile wokovu tuko nayo tunapata wokovu kwa njia imani kwa njia gani ya kuaminia anayeokoa ya kuaminia wale ambao wametukomboa na wale ambao wamechangia sisi kuwa na hiyo imani imani na kwa hivyo wokovu ulio nao si kwa sababu ya matendo yako mema matendo mema huonyesha ule upendo yule anayeyatenda hako naye kwa kwa mkubwa wake kwa mfano mwanamume na mwanamke ambao wanatendana vizuri utaona wanabadilishana mazawadi lakini kama mtu apendi mwingine atapea zawadi si unasikia ripoti za wanaume ambao wanapeana zawadi kule nje si unasikia ripoti za wamama wa haya <laughs> ama mtu wa mama wa haya ambao wanapeana zawadi kule nje unanielewa sasa kwa hivyo lakini huyu kama atapenda huyu kosa kufanya kile kilichochemwa. Wewe unakuta? Mwanaume upendo wake ukielewa kwa mwanamke, kwa mke. Mke upendo wake ukielewa kwa mume. Kama walikuwa na exchange please and please, they won't exchange a lot. Kama walikuwa na peana zawadi, labda mtu ameenda jibani amebeba kitu chocolate, hawatabeba tena kwa sababu upendo huko maana yake ni hayo matendo yanavuviwa na upendo kwa hiyo nayo matendo mema ambayo uyafanya ambao inakuamba sasa wakati umeokoka yale matendo unatenda hautendi yaongezee chochote katika wokovu wako yanakuwa ni dhihirisho ya upendo wako kwa yule umemwaminia kwa wokovu wako kama umemwaminia Kristo na umempokea Kristo utatenda matendo mema. Hayo matendo mema hautasema juu ya matendo haya yangu mema ndio maana mimi nimekomoa kwa pana. Hayo matendo inadhihirisha yule ambaye umempenda 
hakika hata yeye amekupenda na tu anakupenda wewe unampea unapeana kwa njia nyingine so people stop confusing words and salvation this we call them the words of love and no one here kabla Yesu ajaja si baada watu walikuwa wanataka matendo mema mbona wakati ule hawakuwa wameitwa wameokoka walikuwa wanasaidiana mbona wakati ule hao matendo mema walikuwa wanafanya hawange ya equit waseme now i've done this level now this is the level of my salvation the works were for the law hiyo ndio nasema maana kwa neema mmeokolewa na wakati tunasema neema grace grace is that which you can you can't give yourself grace is that forgiveness of sins not because you've done anything good to warrant your forgiveness not because you are so special not because you are so big but because of God's love in you grace grace is very vital in our lives and so when we talk of grace it is that act of love from god not because we've done anything warranting that but because of his mercy because of his love because of his grace kwa sababu from nowhere anakuja kuokoa mtu ambaye alikuwa ahitaji uokoe anakuja kumpea kibali ambaye alikuwa ahitaji kibali anakuja kusimama naye ambaye alikuwa ahitaji kusimamiwa ambaye hapo anahitaji mtu asimame naye so we call him a faithful god we call him a loving god we call him a caring god we call him almighty god praise god So the things we have the grace we have from God this is a high time we stop paying this and this advancement to anything we be doing this is the high time we stop paying it to anything which we have calculated ourselves to do tumeokolewa kwa neema umeokolewa kwa neema na nasema si kwa matendo yako mema otherwise you you you, you credit yourself for that to see the mtu yote hasije akajigaba and this today we are looking against any advice which we be doing which we are not supposed to be doing katika maisha yetu ni nini ambacho tunakifanya ambacho tunajiwekea every credit instead of crediting that to god na yesu anapeana mfano na mtu mmoja mwema ambaye aliingia ekaruni akaenda pale maana haye yeye hasikii uzito wa kukaribia kwa sababu na akiwa pale Akaona mtu za ushuru anaingia kwa lango. Alipoona mtu za ushuru anaingia kwa lango, akashangaa. Akauliza. Katika sala yake akijipiga kifua. Alisema baba, mimi niko mwema sana. Nafanya hili kila juma, nafanya lile kila wakati, nafanya lile lingine kila mara. Kwa sababu ya upendo wako na neema yako. Mimi si kama yule mtoto ushuru. Yesu akauliza wanafunzi wake, kati ya hao wawili nani ameona? Yesu akamwambia hakika. Hakika. Huyu mtoto ushuru sala yake ilisikika. Bana alipiga kifua akasema Mungu naomba unihumie mimi ni mdhamu. Lakini yule mwingine alianza kujikombea. And the challenge we have as Christians is comparing ourselves amongst one another. 
is comparing ourselves from one party to another. Is comparing ourselves from one person to another. And that is where we are feeling from. You may never know Keshokutu at our cook. Nasisi to be going on cock of Yemma, to be a more poor cock of Yemma. Natura Badala and Mother Kufungia one about a tender Mabaya, Kuoko Kum, even to now to Kia Mema, Hakika, to Tabadisha. Like in the Sisi about the Apostle Kuabadisha, Badala to a Tamkia Mema, to now to Kiana Mabaya. How many times do you guess them? How many times do you judge them? Instead of standing and saying, Lord, maybe the poor buyer, let me come with me. How to you a buyer come buyer? Now you are the poor We need to change our narrative. We need to change the way we think. We need to change the way we talk. We need to change the way we see things. We need to have a spiritual better eye than the other. We need to rise up to the occasion. My brothers and sisters, what to occupy each other? Or my father or my as a idi, Sabadi and Vidu and Vidu. As about now, be one. Give your chapel to be a table. Utakacho Funga, Kine Sabika Kine Funga. Utakacho Fugulisha, Kina Sabika Kua, Kine Fugulisha. How many times do you judge them, making them now, you know, fully wired to their problems instead of dewiping them? You want to attack you, you want to say, "Mamu, you took Malaya and I, and I shed your marriage." Has the Nakuta you learned to keep your rohu? Has the Messiah? Kwa sababu wewe ndio ulikuwa na kitu kimepapo utakaso ambacho ungesema na kutenganisha na hiyo malaria inafanyana na kutenganisha na hiyo ukora na kutenganisha na hiyo uchaji So there are times shetani anatumia walokole kufunga wale amefunga it's like kutia final signature And this is the high time baba nafungua wote about the shape of na kile chatu baba nafungua wote about the shape of kile mabaya na kwa hiyo nikawafungisha Mungu arehema ni naomba ukale ukaunga ukadhirike na ukatukuka katika maisha yetu na hao watu watakuwa huru hao watu watafunguka na watakuwa wazima because the time we get safe we need to have that mind like the mind in all our heart hapo walikuwa najua sio kwamba nimekushafika bali nimekushafanya ni Sija fika, hau sija kamilika, bado. Bali! Na enelea kujikaza, kusonga bebe. Na enelea kujikaza katika tunishu wabu. Raisi sana wabia mchukaji mchukaji 
na hiyo kanisa yako imejaa dhambi hey! okay hata yana wakati ule yana akamwambia katika barua ile yake ya kwanza akamwambia mtu yote ambaye anasema hana dhambi huyo mtu anafanya nini anajidanganya We are our main problem. We've caused ourselves everything we are going through. We are the problem in our lives. You are the problem God who are blessing us. Because the minute you say, Lord, I faithfully, honestly come for thee today. I surrender my soul to you. Lord, take over. The minute that begins, a new era instantly begins. He is a faithful God. And I tell you that I want to He is a faithful God. He is so loving. He is so caring. He is so holy. He is so wonderful. But then we stop experiencing that worthiness, that gloriness, that power. And then in his tent, we start ruining our relationship with Christ. We start ruining our future. Many people here are supposed to be very blessed. Like in 24 hours. The minute you, you remove God and bring high, then the problem That is where our problem resonates from. Wakati tu ya roa mungu, na wakaaza mili, shine inazi ya pari. Usiangalia wana watu ya mawa na ukumu kanisa mitandaoni. Because very many people are likening every place to be equal. Kama wengine ni waongo, wewe ni muongo. Kama wengine ni wakora, wewe ni mkona. Chukua mfano wa polisi. Ukisikia polisi ya natanyo kila mtu anaingia tu. How? Wabaya, 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 wabaya. Je, ni polisi watu wabaya? Chukua wa munge. Situ naita NPs. What does Kenyans call them today? Hame ongezo wa IGS MPs Asa wamekua guruwe ni Kama tunajua wanaesa kuwa guruwe kwa nitu wa net Wakati umeingia katika imani Nothing should Nothing should divert you From attention to Christ And that is why, because of that attention, we need to be full and filled fully by the Holy Spirit. That at any time, all through, to Giamuka, yes. To Kikesha, yes. To Giamuka, 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 yes. Mbao, niko na sababi ya kuwima. Na ona kama maono kumbe divyo ulivyo. Awimi divyo ulivyo mara nini. Na ima tufamu. Mimi nikiimba, nikiongoza na wei sasa unandelea pande ikini. Kwa mfano. Na
Kumbe, if you leave your character stay here. Umekuwa mpole, umekuwa mwenye huruma. Kumbe, if you leave your si mwepe si wa hasira. Baba ni mwingi wa rehema. Kumbe, if you leave your we we unajua si amema. Kuliko tunaviona ni. Give your leave your Mawazo ya kwa kwa na mawazo ya wanadamu Baba Give your leave your Nani kama wewe Mwepesi wangu samehe Give your Give your leave your We mawako au nene kikatikati ya wanadamu Jehova Kumbe Divyo ulivyo, divyo ulivyo, oh, divyo ulivyo. Akuna kupinga, ah, divyo ulivyo, divyo ulivyo, oh, divyo ulivyo. Akuna kupinga. Hivyo divyo mungu wa livyo. Asa bako meni pipu wa mesimamu wakasema you are, you don't deserve to be freed. Shetani ya mepigana nae. Alianza mapema. Hata in the world, in the cancer men. Hata kuja na mafia wewe. Hata unaenda kutimalisa. Hata hata. Hati ya kukwa kondole hiki kombe. Hati ya kondole. Kama nge, kionolewa, akikuwa ni kuja kufanya kazi kani. Wewe ukesema umeo kone. Hapa. Kuyikuwa na upisani mwingi sana. Nuyo wanasikia. Ameingia kwa mama fulani kwa tumbo. Na hikuwa ameingia pale. Anajua vizuri. Huyo mama hawakuwa oregi wameoana. Sasa anawaendea kamati ya rochafu. Anawambia mkiruhusu hiki kiala izaliwe. Tuisha yetu. Ingia kwa kilisawa. Wambia kila mtu chukua mawe. Waka chukua. Waka enda. Na yuda mtu uzuri. Mtu wa kurusha jiwa wa kwanza ni nani? Yos Yusuf. Jiwa wa fungulia mlangu. Wana mwambia rusha. Kasema si rushi. Mungu wa bariki Yusuf. Si rushi. Iyo ni kashimikana. Yesu wa kaja ya kazaliwa. Waka sema haa. Haa na katono kama zaliwa tena. Nyota njiyo Yusuf zimengako na hapa hana hapa. Tena nyota njiyo hiyo imenoka kwa shariki njiyo hiyo. Hapa hana. Haa. Tuka manisi, haka ingia kwa nanti, haka mamu unajua ni kuhe, mtafa ya mezaliwa. Sasa badana ya rode ya jubize nimi ni kuse. Baedia taimu haka kafike ni ya katano ni takuwa bado ni shaha zeeka. Sasa alikuwa na tuguwana na mbuna watoto nini. Haka sema, hae mbali me, ni mimi mfano me peke yangu. Manisa ho, from zero to twaya to two years. Manisa, sasa wakaenda. Honu kwa ya toto wali mbua ni kwa jili ya yesu wengi sana. Kadhani wali mbua watoto wakaenda. Why? Hii ule mkombozi hasikawai kuja kukombua wewe. Hiyo vita akaruka. Hapa ni pia. Haka kujia. Haka sema nasi wacha tumono. Hei tuta kujia siku moja atuwa kwa ekana. Si ule anatakaza tuni yehe lakini before that. Wacha tumono wacha tumono. Sasa njuli yehe nae kawaida yake ya nakujia kumadilisha. Wengine ya mtuwi mambo ya kujiasa na rongu takatibu ya na juu. Haka enda haka matizo. Wala wakitu wanakua na matizo, hakuna biku inafuguka, hakuna kitu inafalika, biku inafuguka. Saudi kasoka. Eh, uyu ndia mwana mpendo, nae pendezo nae. Kusikia hivyo. Tumfuwate, kumbe nikuwa laji tuliuwe hile siku ya wale, wale watoto, tumfuwate wazo. Shetani shereha kakatisa, wakafuwate, 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 wakamukuta akikura, wakaza kuona sasa. The only thing we can do is to compromise him. And that is what has been happening. Wakati wana notice umesimama kidete, wana tafuta another means ya kukompromise maisha yako ya kiyo. Wana mwambia kama wale ni mwana wa mungu, fanda ya baa bawe ya mkate. Haka sema, mtu hata ishi kwa mkate peke yake, hila kila neno litokale kinyani mwa mungu. Kaka chini tena akarudi, ya maa mbalo wanelea kuomba. Ah, good, good. Huyu, juwa na juwa ni hinyamanya 
Abra, a Adam, kila kitu yote. Eh? Sasa iko mikono mwangu akamchukua, akamuonyesha, akamuonyesha mji mzuri sana, akamwambia huu nitampenda pia yule nataka. Eh? Ni Mungu kukupea. Akamwambia, "Mwangu Mungu peke yake." Akarudi sasa drawing board. Nataka muwe watu kama Yesu. Yaani yeye alisukuma shetani mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Na hakuna saa shetani alisimama akasema nimemshinda. Hai? Akaka. Akashika sasa nafanya nini tena? Eh! Mmeandikwa. Hata imeandikwa. Ipo yule wote ni Psalms 91. Kuwa malaika wata watakuwa karibu naye hata jikwa. Kwa hiyo sasa chu enda akampeleka juu ya ya Southern Paul. Mali ambapo walirusha one of the disciples akaanguka akakufa. Okay, okay, okay. Jirushe chini malaika watakushi. Kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Now the problem comes is whether you, when you want to 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 answer that is mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. Sinaelewa. See you know yourself. Si lazima wewe ukijinda kasa kwa watu. Yes. Hadi mtu aniambia hapa, kama wewe ni pastor niombee sitakuombea. Sitakuombea kwa ni mbongela cha. Sio. Yeye akawaambia akawaambia iwezekani Shetani akaelewa mikono akasimama. Akategea sasa saa ile anaenda kuanza kuhubiri. Akasimama, akafungua Luka. John chapter 4 verse 18. The scroll of Isaiah. Akasema mambo kadhaa. Akasema jubilee imeanza. Unajua jubilee ni nini? Ni mwaka wa rehema. Akasema imekuja. Ni imekuja kuwaletea maskini ya barujema na akusema matajiri. Tofautisha akusema maskini watiroho <laughs> Sikiliza nzuri nimekuja kuwaletea masikini habari njema ili tabiri utaita kwangu mimi ni yule ambaye ana pesa kwa sababu gani walinyanganyo akaondolewa kwenye bustani baada ya hapo walikuwa na riziki kwa hiyo lazima warudishie riziki kwanza kwa hiyo ni kama kusema nimekuja kuwarudishia riziki walio nyamanyo riziki nani aliima riziki ibilisi na se na me na me dirishie yesu
Watu wa kunya manata na uto milonya kilie kumi. Manata na mipesa kidogo. Tuwa milioni wani. Amalu itatumia. Kwa ni meandiku anchi? Ni meandiku hata lazina za mizani. I say for the father of three. Ni takupea. Amalu wa watu wa nakosa kulala. Wakisumbwana na mimi. Maalu wa nakawa na tema. Wa natenga ajali. Oho. Ni taishi mpaka nime ni kama kare kamuzete. Na tena mimi ni mkama na wakama wa zekagi. Ni taishi kama kare kamuzete. Hapa 
chini kuna clip tumurushe hapo akujike mjike miguu akwende wakambeba na Yesu akasema mimi nikakufa na malaria sitakusaidia nikamjika mjika sitakusaidia nimekuja ila isaidi degree but what of five kwanza nipigwe kueleka ili ni punish ile dhambi ile mwili niondoe udhaifu ule kwa hivyo sasa kwa mapigo yangu watakuwa wamepona mimi nikirushwa hapa watakuwa wamepona hapana akapitia katika yao na akaenda na nasema hivi kwa jina la Yesu vita ambazo alikuwa anakutumia leo hii as i stand before you today kila aliyelekezwa vita nimeamrishwa leo hizo vita narudisha kwa wale ambao wanitumia maana nimeandikwa watakuja kwa njia moja wakaorudia kwa njia saba Wakaona basi sasa tutafanya nini? 
Wakazi za kupanga the only thing sasa ni kumtega kwa maneno yake. Kwanza kwanza tumwentea wakati na mpili. Kwa sababu sisi wa sisi wa Yahudi kwa hivyo sasa sasa hizo shetani amebeba kabisa zima yote imekuwa satanic. Ameingia kwa makuhani, ameingia kwa ma wa, ma padri, makuhani wakuu wote amejaza, amepeba akili zao. Kwa hivyo sasa wanasimama mbele yake wanamwambia naomba utuombe ni halali kumpa kaisari kodi ya usio. Yesu hmm. anamwangalia. Kuna 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 wimbo ilikuwa na kanisa katoliki. About how do you name that song the best? Ambao inaitwa kanisa la la migori. Ana wimbo. Mba simpeni kaisari aliyo ya kaisari. Basi mpeni kaisari aliyo ya kaisari na Mungu mpeni aliyo yake Mungu na Mungu niliimba nikiwa form 4 nikaimba concert mpaka bali ilikuwa naimba inaitwa quartet mbona mna nijari wenyi wanafiki nionyeshe nikaa ya kodi na wakamlete andi nari akawauliza ni anani sanamu hii inanwani ya nani sanamu hii inanwani wakamwambia ni ya kaisari basi akambia basi mpeni kaisari yeye akauliza kileteni akaonyesha hii sanamu ya nani akamwambia mali mtaona sanamu ya kaisari hiyo si ya kwangu sasa tukamata namna gani na nia ni usiokolewe nisiokolewe maana hiyo dawa ikimwagika kaitaanza kunena ili wafuza kuhusu dawa ile inatengenezwa kati ya mtukiki eh hiyo dawa inatengenezwa tena ilikuwa kwa mlima ambapo sasa unajua mito yote inatokeana kwa mlima kuna tofale kuna kabarabara hapo ambapo kalikuwa kanapitia hapo sasa hiyo dawa ikimwagika eh hey, kwa hiyo plan ilikuwa isimwagike hapo sasa wakaona watafanya nini wakaamua sasa Oh. Siku moja kuhani mkuu akaingiwa na Mungu. Akachanganyikiwa akalame, akisema sasa tunaenda ku akasema lazima mmoja akufe ni kwa ajili ya wengi. Yeye kwa upande wa ibilisi lakini ameongea maneno ya nani? Ya Mungu. Ah. Alikuwa kanyafa ama ni anani? Ana 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 Anas, Ananias. Bwana asifiwe. shetani akajua wale wamekosea. Kwa hiyo sasa Yesu akiwa anaomba, Yesu na akakuja. Akaanza kufunga mwenye hata kufu. Lakini akaanza kujua akikufa hata endelea kumbili. Kumbe anjui akikufa si kukufa yeye ataitoa roho yake. Atashuka mahali alipo. Na the plan inaandikwa Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 kwa uzao wa wa, 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 wa mwanamke atafikaliana kitu cha nani? Yeye akaenda kusherehekea kule, tumemaliza, hakako tena. Leteni tukunywe. Iko nini? Wakijaga anaanza kuchukia wanasema Mungu. He, hewa inacheza. Mungu, he. Akishtukia anaona jeshi yake yote wamepiga magoti. He! How is your name Mungu? Nimeandikwa. In Philippians chapter 2, kila goti litapigwa, kila ulimi utakiwa. Wewe Yesu Kristo ni Bwana. Wameanza. Wewe Yesu ni Bwana. Yesu ni Bwana. Akamfikia. Kamwambia kuja lala hapa. Lete kichwa hapa. Maana lazima andiko nitimie. Hakainua kichwa. Akakanyaga. Pa! Sasa yule anakutisha alikanyangwa. Na ukikanyaga kitu kinakwenda tena kweli. Hakuna. Hayo ni kwambia aje kupesha ndani nguvu. Hana. Don't give him a mileage. Hana. He has not. He has nothing. Rise up to the occasion. And all it clean to the salvation. See Jesus alone. We are not saved because of the good works we do. 
the good works we purport to do are purely out of the love we have for Christ. We are saved freely. And so because it is free, the only thing you are entitled to have is to receive it by faith. That is by acknowledging him. And you understand that in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, Anasema, Anasema, Kwa sababu hukinkiri Yesu, kwa kinu achako, ya kuwa ni buwana. Na kuwa mini mwoni mwako, ya kuwa mungu alimfufua katika wafu, utaokoka. The challenge is there. Mwoni mwako. Without faith, you will be irrelevant in many things in your life. Faith is everything you need. Why man? You want to hear about it? You are not supposed to be part of the church. You are not supposed to be a part of you must be truly so much true, Mustari Monja. To Casema, Bassi Mani is one of Hakika, Yamambo, Yatari, Yatara Juayo. Nibayan, Yamambo, Yasio, the Kana. I can learn a tap who will scheme and not mark your name. Mana Kahio was there went to what he should do. How could you do a bore? Kahimani, for a happy Akua, Uliman Uliumba, Panama Munu, had a bit of the Navio, the Kana, having good fire, Kavitu. Believe <laughs> Kwa imani, henoko haliamishwa hasinje akaona mauti. Wala hakuonekana kwa sababu Mungu alimhamisha, maana kabla ya kuhamishwa alikuwa ameshuhudiwa kwamba amempendeza Mungu. Lakini pasipo imani hawezekani, haiwezekani kumpendeza. Kwa maana mtu ameendeaye Mungu lazima aamini kwamba yeye yuko na kwamba huwapa zawabu wale wa mtafutao 
Kwa imani ndugu akiisha kuondwa na Mungu katika habari za mambo yasiyoonekana bado kwa jinsi alivyomcha Mungu haliunda safina apate kuokoa nyumba yake. Na hivyo hakahukumu makosa ulimwengu, hakawa mrithi wa haki ipatikanayo kwa imani. How many days did he spend making the ark? How many days? Miaka 120. Hakijenga. Ili wale wanapokufa wangu asikufe. Mamba gogo mvuta wapi? How many things do you begin to do? Na watu wanaona ukiwa mjinga umechakamkia. Hakuna kitu ambacho watu wanaonekana majinga sana kama kutanishwa na wokovu. Wangine wanasema China kila mahali ni 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 kiwanda. Hakuna makanisa Afrika. Badala ya kulala kama wachelizi wakifanya kazi, kila mahali ni kanisa tunakesha tukikea tukiomba na tukifunga hili ni kwa ajili ya ndoa. Is it true? Nikuulize. Kuna shida kupendeza Mungu na kuwa kwa Mungu. Kwa imani Ibrahim alipoitwa alitika atoke aende mahali pale atakapopata kuwa urithi akatoka asijue aendapo kwa imani alikaa ungenini katika ile nchi ya ahadi kama katika nchi isiyo yake alikaa akikaa katika hema pamoja na Isaka na Yakobo warithi pamoja naye wa ahadi ile ile maana alikuwa akimtazamia mchi wenye misingi ambao mwenye kubuni na kujenga ni Mungu kwa imani hata Sara mwenyewe alipokea uwezo wa kuwa na mimba alipokuwa amepita wakati wake kwa kuwa alimhesabu yeye aliyaidi kuwa mwaminifu na kwa ajili ya hayo wakazaliwa na mtu mmoja naye alikuwa kama mtu watu wengi kama nyota za mbinguni wingi wao na kama mchanga ulio ufuni usioweza kuhesabika hawa wote wakapo katika imani wasio wasijazipokea zile ya hadi bali wakaziona tokea mbali na kuzishangilia na kukiri kwamba walikuwa wengi wageni na wasafiri juu ya nchi maana hao wasemao maneno kama hayo waonyesha wazi kwamba wanatafuta nchi yao wenyewe hao watu walipenda mungu
Ibrahim anaelewa akatoa mtoto wake. Akaona nikiambia vile mwanamke, so many stories that are now connecting. We have the whole of it. Yeye alipotoka walipanda between uh, Isaac and Ishmael. They had the cup of 17 years. And this day Isaac was 17 years. So how many years was No, he was uh, yes, they have a cup of 17 years. So I got to the panda pale. Ishmael alikuwa nyuma wakiwa pamoja na Eliaza. Eliaza ni mtumishi ambaye ni broda limpe Ibrahim. Baba ya Ibrahim alikuwa priest katika ufalme wa Nimrod ambaye alikuwa na 80 other kings and him Siku moja Nimrod akiwa anakaa akaonda akaonda mtu ametokea amemaliza ufalme wake Na sasa hizo This was long before. Mana Ibrahim aliposaliwa, this is what exactly happened. Baba yake alikuwa anasherehekea na wale wengine wa wakuu katika hiyo state house huko kwake. Na kulikuwa na watoto wengine ambao walizaliwa kwake kwa concubines. Ndio hao watu walikuwa na tabia mbaya aje. Na sasa akaona nyota biguni wakati Ibrahim alizaliwa imeenda ikapiga zile nyota zingine hao watu wakabeba ile habari kwa Nimrod wakamwambia tena amechukua kwake kijana ambaye ile ishara tumeona tafsiri ya ile ndoto tumeona nyota za zingine zimepigwa na hii nyota na ukicheza huko kijana ndiye anakuangusha kwa sasa akatumana tena akamwambia Isaac a Ibrahim lazima hawao hebu Ibrahim badala ya wawe wakaua mtoto wa yule mwingine alizaliwa na Ibrahim akapelekwa kwa Noa ambaye alikuwa na kijana ambaye alikuwa nabii alikuwa anaitwa alikuwa anaitwa Shem na mtoto wa Shem ambaye alikuwa nabii ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Ibel E B E R na alipompeleka pale akakaa pale akifunzwa mambo ya Mungu haliporudi akakuta babake amejaza miungu kwa nyumba yake miungu ya ngombe mbuzi na kulele Mungu mkubwa sasa Ibrahim hakaenda na nyundo akagonga hizo miungu yote na alipomaliza kuingonga akapeleka hiyo nyundo kwa hii hii nyingine kwa akawekelea kwa hii kwa hii hii kubwa babake alipokuja akauliza ni nini imefanyika hapa akasema nilienda nikachinja mbuzi nipelekea wale sadaka lakini walipokataa kukula huyu mkubwa akainuka akainuka akawapiga wote. Baba yake akasema haiwezekani. Hii ni kipi ya mchanga itatokaje? Akasema ah, kule unajua mimi hiyo ndio nimekuambia. Yeye akapeleka kwa Nimrod akashtakiwa, akasema vivyo hivyo. Hebu sasa akahukumiwa kuwekwa ndani ya tanuri la moto, ambapo liliongezwa moto kwa siku tatu na akaingizwa pale pamoja na ndugu yake Haran. For your information Ibrahim ambaye ndugu yake huyo mkubwa ambaye alikufa alikuwa na Sara alikuwa na Milka alikuwa na Lot akaoa Sara Milka akaolewa na ndugu yake na Lot ndiye yule aliyenda naye Hebu sasa pale yule jamaa alichomeka yeye Hebu sasa this is now what happened Baada ya kutoka Nimrod akampea wafanye kazi themanini akiwa anaongozwa na Eliaza. Sasa huyu Eliaza Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Huyu Eliaza ndiye alikuwa kiongozi wa hao wengine na akaja kuwa anapenda Mungu kama Ibrahim. Nao wakati walitoka pale siku moja akiwa amekaa, akaona ni broda akaona maono yule mtu alitoka kwa moto ametoka kwake amemrukia amemua. Akajua ni Ibrahim kumbe ni uzao na sasa hizo ameona ni kama uzao wake kumbe ni uzao wake na uzao wake yule ambaye alikuja kuwa ni Nimrod ni Esau wakati huyu jamaa alienda kuinda na wale askari wake wakatataka kidogo eight of them ni Esau akapata nafasi aka akarusha mkuki na akatoroka ndio ile wakati anakimbia akiwa na kibu 
na njaa ambapo anaenda kuchukula chakula cha ndengu ambapo aliuza uzao wake wa kwanza akiwa anajua kabisa kabisa lazima hao watu watamfikiria na watamuua kwa hivyo sasa uzao wa kwanza ndio alikuwa anasema uko na nini kwangu hapo anajua kama hapo akakosa imani kuwa Mungu atamuifanya bwana azikue sana amen kwa sasa hapa wakati Ibrahim aliondoka kwenda kuua mtoto kujikia mtoto wake achijie Mungu wako na ule Elias sasa umeelewa Elias alitoka wapi amen wakiwa wanakaribia mlima wa Moraya wakaona umezungukwa na watakatifu na umejaa moto akauliza Elias unaona nini mbele sioni kitu akauliza Ishmael unaona nini mbele sioni kitu akawaambia nyinyi bakini hapa kumaanisha amuje amuruhusiwe maana ungekuwa mkaruhusiwa munge mungeingia mbele usisahau mama kule aliambiwa tunaenda kwa ndoa tunaenda kwa Shem na Ibel kwa hiyo mbona bwana asijue sana lakini sasa shetani akajigeuza akaenda kama kijana akamwambia acha nikwambie wale watu hawakuenda kule walienda kujinja mtoto sasa sara akakimbia bio sana akitaka kwenda kwa nani akitaka kwenda kwa kina Shem waombe lakini ajua katikati ya njia Mungu tayari ashasimamisha yule Shetani hakuja kama mzee. Akasimama akamwambia unajua nini? Eh, mtoto yako hapo hai hajauliwa. Sara alikufa hapo hapo kwa furaha. Bibi inasema Sara alikufa. That is in our sources, eh? Alikufa out of joy. Nje kuna nyesha mbaya. Haleluya. Wewe sasa jiwe kwa miguu yao. Wewe well, unajua Mungu to which level? Can God hold you to do something privately? Na ufanye. Hallelujah. Mama bale ndo alipeka amebeba mtoto, watoto wawili. Wanapigana pale anaenda kwa wale wale watumishi, yule Ibere na na, na Shem. Na wakati amefika, ameambiwa familia mbili zipe kwa watumwa yako. Yule mkubwa atakuwa mtoto na yule mtoto atakuwa mkubwa. Hadi unasikia yule mkubwa anaelezewa na baba yake. Enda ukalete nyama nzuri na utengenezee kitoweo kizuri nikubariki. Na yeye anajua ile siri ya kuambia Isaka. Kwa hivyo yeye kwake anajua ni nani anastahili kubarikiwa? Yule mdogo. What did she do? Mungu aliingia akampea mawaidha akaenda. Hata wakiita Jacob Disiba makosa ilikuwa ya bibi yao ya mama yake hakikuwa alielezea Isaka kitambo hiyo maneno Hii ni mambo ya imani Acha ni kwambie there is nothing beautiful like the bible stories When you read them properly when you go through the bible well you learn a lot of things and they identify your faith The challenge we have today is we are not you know we are not dynamic to not change from one bit to another to number three so you come on a book kuna mwimbaji ambaye alimba and sisi kama hiyo wimbo inakuwa na lugha ya Kiswahili sisi kama mshaisikia ni wimbo ambao inaimba vile ambavyo watu wa leo hii wako akasema kuna wale ambao wanabadilika leo hivi kesho wanabadilika vile anasema anasema kile babu ike kale kimu kimu ya wacho
Watu wengi wamepotoka kwa sababu hatujawafungua. Tumekuwa wepesi wa kulena. Wale watu ambao unaona wanatenda maneno mabaya, wale watamkie neno njema. Hakuna siku kanisani itakuwa na watu wote 100% wema, 100% watakatifu. Maana yule mtu ameingia kanisani leo, ambaye ni mchao. Si anapiga kwa kwa. Kabla hajaokoka akiwa amekaa hapo karibu na wewe nani? Unajua what happens? Yeye hata kuja kupigana vita, lakini yale mashetani ambayo anatufikaka kwake, yakikuja anaanza vita. Lakini hapa haina vita. The watu wameingia kwa mlango ni kuja kuangua kuoshwa. jaribu Mungu wako tena usijaribu kumvutia Mungu na udini undini umeharibu weka undini kando shika Yesu if you go today these buildings will remain yet still you won't go with them they won't even recognize whether you gone what matters is does the god you serve know you Mungu tayari amekubariki na baraka zote za kiroho mahali pa mbinguni katika Kristo and the challenge is if you are not in Christ you won't enjoy the beauty of this blessing and this is the very verse which now we are turning to be the part of this church Ephesians 1:3 kwa kweli hakuna kitu ambacho unaweza kutaka ambacho tayari sio chako katika Kristo Everything is yours. The challenge is the faith. God will pay all your debts now. God will bless your children now. God will bless your wife now. God will bless your husband now. God will bless your workplace now. God will bless your entire family now. ukiwa mtu wa kusaidia bwana asifiwe sana ukiwa mtu wa kusaidia this is what happens mtu akikutafutia na kupeanga extra akikupea extra na kuanga anajua kuna ya kupeana na ukijifunza kuwa mtu wa kutoa hautaweka ukimo ukiwa kwa njia kwa nyumba Usikie ndugu yako hapo na shida mpe. Dada yako hapo na shida mpe. Rafiki yako hapo na shida mpe. Because that is showing the love of Christ. God is so loving. Kanisa la kwanza zilikuwa lilikuwa la kusaidiana. Na huo ndio msingi wa kanisa la kwanza. Na wangu anasema because of this we are doing This is now our, our 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 means of salvation. No, the means of salvation is Jesus Christ also. Hadi kwa nenda wana Musa, wanapeleka, wanasema tulishe maskini, tulishe maskini. Kio kanisa nitaiona watu. Nitaanzisha hiyo mfumo. Imagine kanisa hilo hapo na kutu wako na njaa. Watu walikuwa wote kila mtu anatembea vizuri amen. Hata shimba, Mungu atumungu naomba ukatubariki tukawe kama hilo kanisa in Jesus alikupa maisha yake kufa msalabani ilikuwa kutoa maisha yake hakupe maisha yako imani yako inapaswa kushikamana na kile Kristo alikuja kufanya yale ambayo amefanikisha yale ambayo amefanikiwa kwa ajili yako na ndani yako sababu ya afya yako ya kiungu ustawi wa kiungu na maisha ya ushindi na baraka nyingi ni kwamba Kristo tayari amewafanya wako. Makini wa mjifu wako unapaswa kuwa juu yake. Ni nini amefanya na yeye ni nani? Sio kwa kazi zako. Anasema in the book of second Timothy, I mean second Peter chapter 1:3. Waraka wa pili wa Petro, sura ile ya kwanza. Mstari wa tatu kwa kuwa uweza wake wa uungu umetukinimia vitu vyote vipasavyo uzima na utaua kwa kumjua yeye aliyetuita kwa utukufu wake na kwa wema wake mwenyewe Anasema first Corinthians 
Philippians chapter 3 verse 21.